For this video, every time I win against the AI, I have to add an extra 25% to their difficulty. And we'll keep doing that until the final race where we face off against 110 AI, where we either win or lose. So let's get straight into this one. Okay then guys, so how this is gonna work is I've got five tracks laid out here. And every time I win, obviously I will increase the AI by 25. Now the final two races, which are Zam4 and Brazil, they're gonna be the only races that I allow myself to do the one shot qualifying in since I'll be at roughly around 100 to 110%. Okay then guys, so here we are at the back of the grid at Jeddah against zero AI. This one is going to obviously be the easiest. So just to give the AI just, you know, a little bit of an advantage, I will hold off just before we get to the first corner. There we go. We'll slow down a bit, let them go. As I mean, obviously we're gonna overtake them all so this one will be pretty, pretty quick. And then we'll move on to the next ones and really increase our AI. Oh, I've noticed that they've made, they've made the borders quite wider here at Jeddah. Oh, and this corner feels a lot better than 21 or 22 or whichever one it is. Yeah, so they've definitely updated Jeddah, made it a little bit wider as Perez completely closes the door on us there. Oh my God, I'm surprised we don't have damage. How do we not have damage? We're on simulation. Okay, so we're at the front of the field now. You know, even taking it easy, it still took only two laps. So we'll just push on, win this race, and then we'll move on to the next track and do it against 25%. Okay, here we go. Final lap. We used a lot. We basically used all of our ERS to flex some, some pace muscles there. So there we go. That's the first race done. Let's move on to the next one against 25%. Okay then guys, here we are at the starting grid for Spain, this time against 25% AI since we won the last one. So let's get straight into this one. But once again, I'll just let them get a little bit of an advantage going into turn one and then we'll make our way through. Now, as you guys will have seen from my videos and other people's videos uh, since the game's come out and even just yourself really, they've done quite a bit of work to Spain in terms of how it visually looks and obviously changing it for the 2023 layout. And yeah, it feels better to drive. It looks better to drive. Overall, I think it's just a massive dubs all around for Spain, to be honest, on F123. I mean, even that corner, which I find pretty difficult on F122, was feel a lot more comfortable taking it. And then obviously turn nine is completely flat on soft tires. I think we've been bumping into some of the cars just lightly enough to not actually get any wing damage, because I'm genuinely surprised we don't have any at this point, as we just send it around the outside of Leclerc and my teammate Russell, get past Verstappen and then we can drive off into the sunset. Oh, that was pretty close. Yeah, look at this. So yeah, even in the race, even in five lap race trim, on soft tires, turn nine is completely flat. But now that you guys have had the game for, I think by the time this video comes out, uh, the championship edition, guys will have had the game for one or two days, roughly. So now that you've had the game for a couple of days, let me know in the comment section, what do you think about F123? You've heard a lot of stuff from myself. You've heard a lot of stuff from people who've done bait, who's been in the beta tests and stuff like that. Now it's your turn. What do you guys think of the game now that you finally got your hands on it? Because I know there's been a lot of hype around this game and a lot of people have rightly so been saying that they're gonna wait until they get their hands on the game before they do any sort of judging. Uh, so I'd love to hear what you guys think of it now. Yeah, from a driver's perspective, I can see this track being a lot more fun for league racing on, the, on this game. For league racing, for even ranked multiplayer as well. I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into the ranked stuff so that we can so that we can start a series that I've wanted to do for a while, which is Road to Elite. I don't know if I'm going to call it that, but it's basically going to be a series of me just competing online and you know seeing how quickly we can get to the highest rank all right there we go that is spain done yuki sonoda went from p16 to p18 and natalie pink pink pinkton is that her name i can't remember her last name and natalie chose yuki sonoda as her driver of the day when lewis hamilton went from last to first with the fastest lap being eight seconds quicker 
how is he not driver of the day? All right, the next up, we've got Silverstone this time. So we've won two races now, so we're up to 50 AI. And soon we're going to be at that 110 AI. So Brazil's going to be a tough one, but I think I think we can do it. All right, then, guys, here we go. We've got Silverstone now against 50 AI as we set off. Lights out and away we go. And you know what? We'll, we'll give them we'll give them a little bit of space. Okay, maybe more than a little bit of space. What has happened there into turn one? There's a massive gap <laughs> between <laughs> between the back markers and <laughs> between the front. We've got Zhou Guan Yu ahead of us into Stoke. Last time I was following Zhou Guan Yu into Stoke, he had an absolute fumble. Oh, Zhou. Oh, Joe. Oh, my God. That was in the that was in the creative series on F122. So it seems as if Joe's AI is actually better than Joe himself. You would have thought that. I don't necessarily need to make my job too difficult here. Well, maybe I should actually. There we go. I've got wing damage now, but a little bit of wing damage makes the job just a little bit harder. I mean, I am already in P6, so I guess it doesn't make it as difficult, considering I'm already pretty much at the front. And there you go. Another another race, another win, and I believe we've got the fastest lap at the end as well, which means even with wing damage, we got a fastest lap every single lap. What's what's going on here? Why is Yuki getting the driver of the day every single race? He's at the back. All right, then, guys, here we go. Is Zan 4 against 75% AI or 75 AI, whatever you want to call it? And we're off. We're off. Now, this one, you know, 75 is you know, it's not super slow as we get wing damage straight away, of course. <laughs> uh, Zanfort is a pretty difficult circuit to actually make overtakes on as we get even more damage straight away. Okay, so we've got damage already and a lot of it actually. Um, but with 75% and all this damage that we have now, that actually might be a little bit difficult. Absolute long range send on Alonso there. Okay, so we've got full yellow wing damage and we've got underfloor body damage as well, which is going to harm the downforce of the car. But I still think we're quick enough to do this. But we could be wrong, actually. The wing damage might prove to be a bit too much. All right, so due to the damage, we had to use our ERS the catch up but it looks like we're still going to be able to do it i mean max verstappen's just here and i think we can overtake him over the course of the rest of this lap i mean just look at the amount of on this deal that we get but our straight line speed is going to be pretty crazy it's actually going to go to the line it looks like yeah he's got no ers it's over for him <laughs> we're actually going to do it on the line that was actually pretty close to be fair with the damage so fair enough what's going on here yuki has gotten driver of the day every race and I think he's finished in the bottom five every time. What's with the Yuki love? I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, Yuki's Yuki, but... Hello? Lewis? Okay, so yeah, that last one was actually pretty close. So we had full yellow wing damage and we had, I believe, orange damage to the underfloor, the underbody of the car as well. So those three damaged parts combined actually made it pretty close. So... Yeah, I was pretty surprised by that. But this next race is going to be at Brazil against 100 AI. Now, as I said before at the beginning of this video, when it comes to the 100 AI now, I'm actually going to do the one-shot qualifying. However, I still must qualify. I had to cut away and deal with something important there. But as I was saying, I can qualify. However, I must do it within the bottom half of the grid. So I can't qualify higher than P10. So I'll just have to manage my lap throughout the lap and qualify as high as I can without getting into the top 10. Okay. Uh, we managed it fairly well until we got to the end there. I felt like, like our straight line speed was too quick and we're actually going into the top 10. So I had to lift off a little bit. And because of that, we ended up finishing in P16. Okay, so yeah, this is the highest we've actually started in this video, P16. against 100 AI at Brazil. And it's lights out and away we go. 
We should still be quick enough to what the absolute hell will happen there. Okay, if we can somehow maneuver ourselves through this without getting any form of damage. How have we done that then? Not sure how we've managed to pull that one off. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> we can't get wing damage or any form of damage with this one. Because I think 100 AI is just a bit too quick for us to do it with damage. Ooh, what a send. We had a massive slide going through turn six. We somehow still made the move and we actually just made the move on Bottas as well. There you go, up into P7. Verstappen going on a move on Charles for the lead on the final lap. And we're also gonna try and get past Charles here. And there we go, all we have is Verstappen now. And we're almost out of ERS. Ooh, an absolute send on all sends. He actually gives Charles Leclerc the opportunity to go into P2 as well. There you go. Uh, we managed to do it. And we're going to finish roughly about 7 tenths. Maybe a little bit more ahead. No, not even that. 6 tenths. Well, there you go. That's 100 done. We just about managed to do it on the final lap. And now we're going to move on to the final race, which will be against 1 tenth. Yuki Sonoda. Sonoda gets my vote today. <laughs> Why is it always Yuki? What's going on? <laughs> he finished in P15. <laughs> okay, I know that you guys are probably sick of seeing this track, but honestly, it is it is in good contention to be my favorite track on the game right now. So for the 110 race, we are doing Qatar. Okay, since we're doing 110 on this one, I'm definitely doing qualifying to see if I can qualify as high up as I possibly can. And potentially qualify maybe on pole? If we can, that'll make my life easier. Okay, we're roughly in P4 at the moment. Yep, P4. Looks like we're roughly about two and a half tenths down from what I can quickly see. Or P2. We're gonna just be behind our teammate P3. No, P2. Which is it gonna be? Which is it gonna be? P2 it looks like. All right, here we go. Starting in P2 for the final race against 110 AI. We've got a teammate on the left-hand side there. If we can get a good enough start, we could get ahead of him straight away and potentially win this race just off the start. So let's try and get this start. We've got four, we've got five red lights for the final race here at Qatar. So the lights out and away we go. Perez going ultra aggressive there with the defense. He knew that we were going to get a good start. We've got the inside line for turn one. We take it just as what's happened with in real life. Now the question is, can we keep it? Step one is complete, we've taken the lead. Step two, keep it until the end of the race. Oh, an amazing sequence of corners there with six tenths up. And I think this is probably one of the strongest sections of the track for us. But Perez is still keeping up very, very well. I can't lie, I have to thank my lucky stars here that there's only one DRS zone on this track. We're gonna have to try and manage our ERS very well here. Look at Perez following us in the slipstream. You can tell I'm pushing just with how much the car is absolutely sliding around everywhere. We've still got roughly about 90% ERS, which is good. Oh my God, I thought I was strong in those corners. Like I generally thought I was pretty strong at this part of the track, but AI, man, are just as strong. Oh my God. He's gonna go for it, I think. He does. That kind of compromises him, but it compromises us too. We're going on to the final lap here. I'm using everything everything this is the final lap we've defended fairly well even against the drs we still have one warning in the bank that we can use as well let's go let's go we've done it we've won all six even with drs they're not gonna be able to overtake us going to the line we managed to do it let's go oh, that was definitely tough i actually like this one there's a few there's a few celebrations uh, a few new celebrations in this game, and I actually particularly like that one. That one looks good. But anyways, I mean, maybe for the esports guys, that would have been a lot easier. But, you know, there's a reason why I'm not in F1 esports. So that was that was pretty tough. But yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed that one. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button. And I would also like to thank everyone who is currently a channel member for helping support the channel. If you do want to help support the channel in ways other than just watching and liking the video, make sure to check the join button down below and I'll see you guys in my next video.